States, I am back today with another Friday PIP, which is our Pinterest inspired project. And today we are making a one sheet gift box. You can make this either using a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock or a 12 by 12 piece of double sided paper. I'm choosing to use regular cardstock. I find whenever I'm making a box, I like using a piece of cardstock as the base. And now we're gonna bring in a scoring board. If you don't have a scoring board, you can just use a ruler and a stylus or you can use your regular paper trimmer and score where you'd cut. All right, so we got a little paper here. All right, so we have the inner scoring board. We're gonna first score this at three inches and then at nine. So three inches, nine inches. We're gonna turn it and this time we're gonna score at one, three and a half, six and a half, and nine. So it was one, three and a half, six and a half, and then nine. We are now done with this. We can set that aside. I'm gonna grab my bone folder. I'm gonna crease along all those score marks that we need. This is a fun box. It's a good size too. I wanna to say it measures uh, six inches by three. So really great for a coworker or a friend. All right, so we have all of our scoring done. I want to take the box and flip it toward you. It's where you have that one inch flap right here. And we're going to cut on that score mark up to the third. So if you see here, we have one, two, three. We're going to cut on this score mark up to that third score mark. Okay, so we have that. Do the same on this side. Cut up to the third score mark. So now we have these two pieces here. Now in these two pieces, you wanna count in two score marks and cut on that score mark. So we have the first score mark and our second. Go ahead and cut that second square mark area completely out on both sides. Okay, so now we have something looks like that. We're now gonna flip it around and cut on these score marks up to the first square mark. Okay, so it looks like that. And then we have this side as well. Okay, and that quick our box is done. This is the sides, so that goes in like this. Then we have the front, the back, the top, and then the top flap like that. I'm gonna flip this over and add some paper. Now if you're using double sided paper, of course you don't need to do this part, but I like adding paper to it. I have, um, this is Stampin' Up! paper, I don't even know what this is called. Um, this is two and three quarter by five and three quarter. And we need two of these, one's for the front and one is for the back. I'm gonna glue these guys down. You could also stamp the entire piece of cardstock and make your own pattern in the box. I like doing that. All right, so we have that one there and then this one here. And again, these both measure two and three quarter by five and three quarter. All right, now we have one more piece here. This is for this piece right above that one inch square mark. And this is two and a quarter by five and three quarter. And this is gonna be the top of the box. We're gonna put that there. I think it would, look, it would look nice as well if you ink the edges. All right, now lastly, we have our two side panels. We need two of those. These are two and a quarter by two and three quarter. And they're gonna go right here. the other one right here. All right, now we have them four white squares. We're gonna go ahead and put adhesive on those guys. I'm just using my ATG gun. If I was just giving this away, I'd um, use a stronger adhesive, like a score tape, a red line tape, a sticky strip. Even the art glitter glue would work here. It would just require a lot of that glue. So I'm okay using my ATG gun. All right, now we're gonna just flip it over and we have glue here. Just bring your front panel up and line it up on the sides, and then bring this guy over and line that one up. Okay, and then do the same for the back pieces. Just line it up on the side there, and this one as well. There, and I'm just gonna go in there and just kinda give it a push, and that fast our box is done. How cute, right? Now if you want to, you could round the corners off. I did that on this one. You could have the flap stick out, 
You want to cover this with paper. The flap measures three quarter by five and three quarters of your paper size. Or you can put the flap on the inside of the box or on the outside of the box. It's up to you guys. All right, now I want to create a belly band to kind of hold the box together. I have a piece of white cardstock. This is one inch by 12. I'm going to flip this in here just to kind of hold it there. I'm going to flip my box over and just bring my paper around and just kind of pinch it and pinch it and then pinch and pinch. Okay, so now I can see where all of my pinch marks are. Now I'm just going to fold the cardstock, lining up the cardstock ends, making sure they're straight. Take my bone folder, give all that a crisp edge on it. And then this guy right here, and we should be good. Okay, I'm gonna dry fit it first. Just to make sure we were okay on our scoring. Yep, okay. Now on the little flap here, I'm gonna put some adhesive. I'm gonna bring around my box. the adhesive, the two pieces of cardstock meat. Like such, I don't want to be too tight, just enough to where I can make them touch. Oh. Okay, get that on there, and I'm gonna kind of give it a little squish here. I'm gonna push the lid in, and then just kind of fix that. A little off right there. Just give that a nice little pinch. Okay, now that we've fixed our box, we can slide that off and on. All right, so we have our belly band done. I'm going to fix my glue here. All right. If you want to, you can also cut a notch right here, just like use like a little half uh, circle punch, and cut a little notch there for your thumb so you would know where to grab the box, but we're okay doing this. I'm going to put the seam of the belly band on the bottom. Close that up. All right, now I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping. I'm gonna use that same piece of cardstock that we cut off the edge. And the stamps that I'm using is from Maybe Made It. It is called Sweet Stuff. I'm using the one that says Sweet Treats for You. Really fun little one. And I'm gonna grab my block. And I'm using a Stampin' Up Tip Top Taupe Ink. Oops, and I just got ink on my finger. You ever do that opening ink and your finger goes right across it? I am known to get inky. So I'm ink this guy up. I'm first gonna punch this out. I'm gonna use this tag shape punch. That'll fit. Okay. Ink that again, and then kind of ink on this one or stamp it on a little bit of an angle. Straight down, straight up, and it looks like that. Okay, super cute. All right, we're gonna close this guy up. Otherwise, every other part of my body will go in the ink pad. All right, now I'm gonna grab some foamy things and we're going to use probably four. Okay, I'm going to give them a squish. Now, you can leave it like this. You can put this on the front or on the top, but I think it looks kind of plain. So what I went and used is this twine. I'm just going to cut a chunk of this off. If I had the, um, the paper, the tip top toe paper from Stampin' Up, I would use that. I'd probably make that like one and a quarter and then put my one on front on the top of that one. But I'm no longer a demo, so I don't have a need to order Stampin' Up product. All right, so I'm gonna just take this twine and kind of wrap it around on that white. You can also use ribbon here as well. It's just so it's not so boring on my white layer. And I'm gonna hopefully tie this into a bow. my bow first. Let me bring this piece over here. Make that be a little bit shorter. I make them shorter, then I can pull them nice and tight, and then make them a, bit, a little bit larger as well at that point. All right, I'm gonna cut that off here, cut that off there. I'm gonna fix my lid. Okay, so now we have the bow on there. I'm gonna gonna take this, take our, our backing off the foamy things, dimensionals or foam tape, whatever you wanna use. They're all the same thing. All right, now you can decide where you want to put this. You can put it at the very top, kind of tucked under the, the uh, bow at the front. Let me fix this real quick. I want that to be on the white. 
Come on, get over that belly band. You can do it. There we go. Okay, so I want that to be on that white. And again, it breaks up the contrast between the white like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, where's the front of my box? This side. All right, so you can put this on the front like this, on the side. Well, again, because I'm using white on white, I'm not sure if I like it there. On this box, I did. I had it right there on the front, but I think I'm actually going to kind of tuck it up under here a little bit. But if I do that, see, that's not going to work either. If I do that, then the person who's getting it is going to have a hard time taking that off. So we're going to have to go... Actually, no, I can put it right here. Okay, we're going to put it on top just like that. I'm going to take the belly band off because now you're able to still slide that off. If you want to, you can kind of put a glue dot behind this piece. I'm going to take this, open this up, and just kind of squish this down so I know that's going to stay on there. All right, close that up and put this back on. I think I went this way. Isn't it a cute box? Really cute for a girlfriend, a teacher. I would not give this to um, the kids for school because it's a lot of stuff you have to fill, but I, mean, I think it'd be a good idea that way too. You can fill it with um, like school supplies, like a, you know, maybe a few crayons. I'm sure probably maybe a marker will fit in here. I don't have a marker near me, but um, yeah, I think you know, this kind of marker would fit in there. You can fit you know, glue sticks in there. You can put you know, treats. You can do nail polish and nail stuff. You can do perfume. I mean, really, it's just a good size box and only use one sheet of paper. So super cute. So there's that box and this one. So how do you like it? Do you like the tag on the front or on the top? I'm kind of undecided. I do like on the front because it kind of shows the box, but I like on the top as well. All right, so either way, guys, let me know in the comments, on the top or the front. Um, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, it's me, Stace. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I certainly do appreciate it. I also hope that you guys liked the video. If you did like the video, please give me a thumbs up so I know that you guys like these kind of videos. Also, if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel and this way you'll get notified whenever I do a new video. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.